<sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally here. The absence jailbreak for Windows. Go ahead and download the zip file, extract it to your desktop, just like I'm doing right here on Windows. And you should see the absinthe file with the data folder as well. You want to right click on absinthe and run as administrator. That'll pull up the absinthe GUI interface. And there you go. It's going to ask you to plug in your iPhone 4S or iPad 2. So you want to go ahead and get those prepared. Make sure it is on. You don't want it in DFU mode or anything like that. Plug that in and it should recognize it. Here it is, the iPhone 4S with 5.01 detected. Now you want to just click the jailbreak button right here. It'll say connecting to device, beginning the jailbreak, and this may take a while. And this does take a little while to, to finish. So just be patient. If you've watched any of the prior videos for the Mac, you know exactly what to expect. In fact, I think the Windows version was even easier because it just seemed to work a little more smoother. Uh, maybe it's because the dev team has ironed out some bugs. I don't know, but it just seemed to work a lot better. So it was worth the wait. You should see your iPhone restoring like this. It should look like it's in a restoring mode. You will see restoring on the screen. And then eventually you'll see it go back to your lock screen just like that. So let's head back over to the Absinthe GUI tool and then you'll see it waiting for reboot not done yet. Do not unplug your device yet. So just let it run through this. That's really all you have to do is just wait and be patient with Absinthe and it'll do its thing. There really isn't much user intervention that has to go on here. Now this part is a little on the time consuming side so just be patient. Maybe we'll speed it up here a little bit for you. Okay, so still waiting for reboot. And now it's connecting to device, waiting for device to finish booting, preparing jailbreak data, and then it should send the payload. There it is. So now you're pretty much done. Um, the GUI tool you're finished with, you don't need to do anything else on this particular screen. You want to head back over to either your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2. And then you just want to unlock the device and then go to your home screen and find the Absinthe tool that should be located there on your home screen. So there it is. No, Siri, you can't help right now. So there is the Absinthe tool. You just want to load that up. You should see this screen right here. Absinthe is now, I guess, setting things up. Please stand by. So yeah, it's working. So just give it a second. This takes maybe anywhere between 10 and 20 seconds to complete here. And then you'll see this loading screen here. And eventually you'll see the Apple logo and you'll see another little loading screen on the Apple logo. That's normal. So just bear with us for a few more seconds. And now we're just going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit just for time purposes. But just keep in mind this will take a little bit of time. So just be patient again. Can't stress patience enough. All right. So now we're back at our lock screen. Let's unlock. And there is Cydia, folks. So that is how you jailbreak your iPad 2 or iPhone 4S on Windows using Absinthe. I hope this was easy for you to follow along. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are you excited to finally have Cydia on your iPhone 4S or iPad 2? Let me know. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.